Okay. Um, we talked briefly. I mentioned whirly gigs. That's my hobby. And I don't want to confuse anyone. Um, these are made when I have the energy to work on them. Therefore, if you're thinking that we're, we're raising money, we're asking for, do for donations, and you may be asking yourself, well, is the Whirly Gig for sale? Or would they be for sale? Uh, I don't want to discourage anyone, but I except for that very first Snoopy plane, which is already promised to my grandson, I would be willing, if someone is interested, for the Whirly Gig, okay, if they would be interested in purchasing, that would be, I would be okay with that. But you must understand, I don't make these at a hundred at a time. This one is the first one, and it's still not completed. Behind me, I'll bring it out here. This is the stage that the second one is at. So you can see progress that that is made and that it takes to get to that point. Okay. Uh, if you can see the pelicans in the background. They're so darn cute, I only needed two of them, but I made five. And they're hand-carved. They're hand-carved. And something that may not be important to a lot of you, but this is, it really matters to me. The wings, I don't have anything real close to me, but the wings are made out of paint, one-gallon paint stirrers that Lowe's and Home Depot gives you that you get at your hardware store when you buy gallons of paint. These were carved from them. These wings right here. And then a post carved in the end of it and then a hole drilled in the pelican's body so it actually fits in like a dowel. Okay? So, <laughs> like I said, some people wouldn't appreciate that but people like me They'll, they'll get that, believe me. So, we're looking for donations. I'm not want to get in the business of selling whirly gigs, but if you're patient enough and if you're understanding enough, if I don't have one and you want one, please contact me using my email address and we'll talk about it one on one okay the uh, there are some other world of gigs that I have ready they're not within my hands at right now but they will be soon so but um, I wanted to clear that up about the differentiating you know the difference between the fundraising and the Whirly Gig sales. This is not about selling Whirly Gigs. This is about donating for help me with my medical expenses. And it's just really cool to have this Whirly Gig in front of us while we're talking about it. So, um, I'm looking for the handmade to show you how this is going to work and what it does. Because all you see right now is a guy on the back of a boat dipping up inside. He's can't find my crab trap. Oh, thank you. Mr. Hand, Mr. Hand comes to the rescue. This is a handmade crab trap, beginnings. And this, if you can see, I'll move his propeller. Whoa. See how quickly, okay. Recovered nicely from that. All right. Now, this is a crab trap. It will be suspended underneath the whirly gig. Mr. Han,
Can I have the bag of crabs, please? Ziploc bag. Mr. Hand comes to the rescue again. These are crabs. These things are so cool. They are so neat. I'm going to sprinkle a couple in here. Got to be careful, they're kind of delicate. But, anyway, if that's visible through the camera, these are little miniature crabs, and they'll be underneath this whirly gig with a wire that comes all the way up through the center. Ah. His hands will be drilled through here at this point. Let's get him level. Okay. His hands will be dribbled at this point through his hands. The wire will come down, go through the frame of the whirly gig, and suspend the crab trap underneath the whirly gig. And every time the whirly gig turns, he'll try to pull this crab trap to the surface. This is how it's going to work. Did did that everything's down and then back up down and then back up okay so that will put the finishing touches on this but this just real briefly you know I get a little excited about it so I get a little short of breath I have just to calm down here a little bit because this is this is a I don't know. Passion. It's really neat. And the drive mechanism that moves from here, this is the drive piston, this is the drive shaft, comes through a bearing block. Bearing blocks that looks a lot like that. Okay? And comes out to the propeller. So the propeller turns the shaft in the bearing block. I had to change it. This boat is a second boat. It was too long. I had to shorten and readjust. You have to bend everything just right to get it work perfectly, smoothly, so there's no bumps. And it's got to be able to take the wind. This whirly gig, I wouldn't leave any whirly gig out over the winter. Any one, any whirly gig that looked as good as this. So I'm hoping whoever decides it's great, good enough to buy or that it's nice enough they would like one in their backyard takes care of it. Hopefully the size of the propeller blades develop enough energy to raise and lower this crab trap or I will have to redesign the crab trap out of a lighter material until I get it able to function properly but as you can see everything's okay now and here's that nasty little pelican trying to steal his crab a lot of things going on but that's what a really gig is all about so so that everybody knows Donations are separate from whirly gig purchases, and I will have to deal with that one on one. So, now here is uh, we're going to set this guy, spin him around off the side, and hopefully, you can still see it. Okay, and here. Here is the Snoopy plane. Okay, I hope you can see Snoopy's expression on his face. But this is a, a Sopwith camel. And
This is also a whirly gig. This is the propeller. Goes on the front. Comes complete with machine guns. Goes on the front. Spins in the wind. Sits on a pole. As all whirly gigs like this one. Has a pivot point already bored in. Right here. With a stainless steel sleeve. Made to last. I think this will sit right there. How's that, folks? Better shot of Snoopy this way? Okay. But there it is. Everything is marine birch lumber. This is solid. This is pine. Um, Snoopy scarf. And uh, the wings are marine grade birch finish plywood. And I guarantee you, I've worked with this stuff before and it's impressive. Something this thin does not have any air holes in the center of the fillers because it's all birch, 100% birch filler and top layers too. And this is uh, going to be painted with Oliver's name on the side and then coated four times. I coat everything that goes outside four times marine polyurethane. Okay, so this is uh, this is Snoopy and this is what I do. These two are the coolest, neatest ones I've made. I've made several others that are much larger that are not within. Uh, I do want to take an opportunity to show you Another one. Uh, if we could get, watch out there. Here is I like m making a lot of Snoopies. Different. Different color schemes. So this one's got a lightning bolt across the engine cow. Okay. And by the way. I did a little research on sop with camels. This hump, this hump in front of a cockpit right here, this little hump that it makes is the reason why they gave it the name Camel. The sop with aviation com company of England named all their planes after animals. And this one was called the Camel. So it's got a, it's the same color, but it's a little, it's got a lightning bolt. It's got, uh, on the underneath, when you're looking at it from the ground, you can't see it because it blends in with the sky. Okay. And it's got the aviation squadron colors right here. Something a little bit different. Okay. So that's the second one. And I usually make them in pairs because uh, the time spent on uh, the tools and the equipment, it makes sense to make a couple, at least two. Well, I hope you take the time to watch the video and it's been entertaining. I hope I answered all the questions. Uh, as best as my my ability, the um, in time, I could wait for a heart transplant. It's already been a year and a half. It could be two, three, four years before a donor heart is found. I'm a blood type O positive, so I can only use an O positive heart. Blood, I can only use an O positive blood type heart. So, in the meantime, stay positive through prayer and whirly gigs support from my family. 
thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch all this. Contact me if I didn't answer any of your questions. It will take some time for me to get back to you. I am not... <laughs> I'm 60 years old. And I get all my IT assistance from my son. So there's some things I don't understand and never will about the computer. But I'm working on it. Trying really hard. So thanks a lot. And I hope you've enjoyed the world of gigs and spending time with me. See you, folks. Grab the seagulls behind you. What? Grab the seagulls behind you. Who? Grab the seagulls behind you. Who? Never mind. <laughs>